again, everybody. This is Derek, and I am coming back at you with another episode of The Troop. The Troop is a World War II turn-based game, um, hex-based, uh, British Commonwealth against the, either the SS or the Panzer Lear um, immediately after Normandy. Uh, I'm playing a campaign, which just started in the last video. Uh, this campaign... Uh, we are now on June 9th, 1944, and it says First Encounter. The brigade has bypassed resistance from SS troops around Andrew and seized point 103. Enemy SS units are... Is this a sit rep? Is this, a, is this an op order? Okay. The SS units are operating in the east. Panzer Lear's superbly equipped armor and Panzer Grenadiers are heavily massing in the south. Expect heavy resistance. Mission advance through the village of St. Pierre. Seize the bridge over the Suez. No, Sewells. Okay, I don't know if this is a river or if that is a road, but either way. <clears throat> advance through Tilly Sur Sewells towards the brigade objective at Villa Bricage. Typical Norman village and overcast. Okay, so the last mission was also overcast. Let's play it and it will maybe offer me points to put into my forces. I guess we'll find out. <clears throat> okay, so it says this is my mission force because these are the troops that I chose in the last battle. And it looks like it's going to give me more budget. And <clears throat> by choosing late deployment, it, they didn't show up to like turn eight which I thought was kind of hard to absorb. We're going to take the Oh, I could take another Sherman and Okay. <clears throat> Leaves me with 210. These guys are 210. There's 200 right there. But these guys don't come with... <clears throat> well, I guess I could deploy them. Set them up on the table, but... I can't move them around. Does this come with infantry or just the half tracks? I mean, for 470, you would think that it would come with the half tracks and the infantry. But I don't know, it's, it's hard to tell. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking more infantry <clears throat> and just go with it. Okay, so this, I didn't choose late deployment on any of these, so I'll have all my tanks at start. <clears throat> and if you notice, they have names above them, like Morris, Davis, Wood. Those are actually the groups that they're in. So if I wanted to keep groups intact, I could do that. This church off map is kind of cool. Okay, it doesn't... This, <clears throat> wow, this is a wide map. Okay, I'm trying to absorb the locations of the objectives. And now to get to them. Okay, it's going to be a little... This left side is just way too open. Look at all that open area. <clears throat> We're going to be concentrating our entire force 
right up through this area, <clears throat> this area, which will eventually go into this, and then maybe across here to take this. <clears throat> That's kind of what I am thinking. <clears throat> is there any more Anderson? There is. I'm basically putting them together by <clears throat> platoon leader name or squad leader. Yeah, I guess it's platoon leader. Okay, this is Morris over here on the right. Yeah, Morris has got quite a bit of troops. I don't know who this Williams... Oh, he's the... <clears throat> okay, <clears throat> infantry and sniper. Wait, and Williams is also a machine gunner. Okay. Allen and Turner are my tanks. <clears throat> okay. All right. We're, we're pretty much... <clears throat> Give me a second while I set up, and then I'll be right back. Okay, I'm all set up couple of new things that I noticed um, <clears throat> there's an open hatches or close hatches button here for your vehicle so you can do that before the battle begins so you don't have to do it during the battle and I also noticed on my mortar it had a setup or pack up um, button which I haven't noticed before so I went ahead and packed them up so they can move on the first turn uh, let's begin the battle I put my recon and my sniper team on the far right. Um, I put my two infantry platoons here flanked uh, by armor. And that is how we're set up. <coughs> now I suspect if somebody was there Okay, they can see into the woods. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, but I'm so I'm just going to go ahead and sprint. So it's Williams's team over on the right, and then this is Anderson's team, which I was going to move up this hedge line right there. And then these guys are just going to balls to the wallet, you know what I mean? Okay, we'll start off with the mortar. I just wanted to get him up far enough so that he could be in some cover. Yeah, this first turn, I think I'm just going to have everybody kind of run. Okay. Got an anti-tank device, which... I don't know. And I am going this way because I want to try to avoid any areas that are too open.
and that should be everybody. There's no it should not be anybody on the left. <clears throat> okay. I think that's everybody. These guys are just gonna park it right there. Um, there we go. All right. I think all my guys are still hidden. I think we can still run. Okay. Set up. See, I don't think setting up here is going to be kind of the smart play. But I'm going to do it. Who, whoever said I was the smart. Slowly but surely advancing along. I'm expecting mortar fire to come in by now. They probably suspect where I'm at. AI spotters. Maybe not. Okay, we have woods and then we have orchard. A little bit of crawling. See right here, I don't know if I want to make a run, a run for that.
Okay, I might start crawling now. But I didn't. has popped up. <clears throat> we are avoiding this left flank like a cancer. I'm sticking to my plan like I said at the very beginning. One infantry platoon is going to take this little group of buildings. The other infantry platoon is going to go up through here and try to take this one. While these guys kind of just scout, really. They're not really trying to occupy any territory. But what I am trying to do is uncover where maybe some enemy are located. <clears throat> and I'm trying to crawl so I don't you know um, make it obvious <clears throat> okay well we haven't seen anything there so I'm gonna Advance. Okay, so that might be in, impassable. So going up this way might not have been good. <clears throat> might have to go all the way around this way. That's all right, though. Can this guy advance? He cannot advance. <clears throat> I think we're good. I don't even know if there's a turn limit on this battle, but it is a bigger map. Okay, we're doing okay. No contact though, it's starting to scare me.
Okay. They probably have like this beautiful anti tank gun over here. Or around this corner like ready to cover this entire field <clears throat> or maybe back here some <clears throat> okay we're in this building Yeah, these hedges are really throwing me for a loop, actually. Because I don't think I'm going to be able to move through those in any way. Except with these guys. <clears throat> is pretty big. I think I'm going to pack up the mortar and move them up a little bit. Ah, oh, we see somebody. <clears throat> he sees us. But I'm not scared. <clears throat> okay, so maybe they've decided to defend on the north side of this road here. <clears throat> and give it, they gave me this southern orchards. Okay, he's falling back. Well, I don't want to send anybody through these fields knowing that there's going to be somebody over there possibly shooting at them.
Okay, Morris <clears throat> and his men. I would say are pretty secure right here. <clears throat> now, Wood... Remember, we're heading towards this group. I'm going to send these guys over here <clears throat> to shoot long distance over there with their canons. I don't think this guy can get through there. So he's going to prepare to come around this way. Same with you. keeping my tanks in their little fire teams <clears throat> the name of them okay what do we got over here oh shooting down the road that's not a good spot for me to be in That way the armored car can't shoot at me. <clears throat> hey, we got a lucky hit. One shot. It's still a 30% suppression though. set up no
Okay, so Wood's moving in on this house here. <clears throat> then he's going to jump the shark right there. Okay, another suppression. All right. <clears throat> I think we're doing okay, maybe. Well, we got this objective locked in. We're getting ready to have this one, as far as I'm concerned. This one is white, maybe because of him. thought there was a way to tell what these areas were. I don't think it's line of sight. I thought I could just click on the objective and it would tell me like the area that the objective <clears throat> give me an outline of where the objective is. If you're listening, that would be a good idea. Okay, enter. There's probably a button to press. Okay, what is that? That looks like, oh, a 10-4? 10-2? Or something? Okay. <clears throat> it's one of those half tracks with plaque gun on the back. What? doing the low crawl and the shooting. Hey, we got a guy. <clears throat> now this guy can't shoot over there. But he can't if he was there. I might have went too far forward. But I'm okay. <clears throat> Perfect. Beautiful. It's the first time I think I've seen that model on this uh, in this game. <laughs> I 
Okay, I moved the HQ up so that when the where's he at? So when the mortar fires, <clears throat> we'll get a little bit more accuracy. So if that thing doesn't move, it'll slowly. that is if I get I got a tank here and then I got tanks there but they would have to be on this line to be able to shoot at that thing right there Which, don't get me wrong, I'm thinking about it, but I just want to, I'm planning ahead, I'm prepping. <clears throat> There's an overwatch. And he actually killed one of my guys. Okay, so there's a sniper like right there. <clears throat> so if I'm there online with this hedge okay <clears throat> it's too far to move and shoot is active. <clears throat> looks devastating tree branches and everything flying everywhere <clears throat> oh you can see me okay thinking 20 turns remaining okay that's what I need to know you continue to fire on that guy can't have many lives left
We got one of them. <clears throat> See, now I can leave it there. I'm going to say no, because it's only 5%. Okay, so he's going to have to advance, but he... That's too far to shoot. This guy. That looks good. All right. Firefly, let's see what you got. Close. Not really, but <clears throat> now can't hit him there. I can get him there. Six percent. Really didn't think that was going to do it. So there's a lot of tanks to choose from. Oh, there we go. Oh my gosh. You see how many guys you kill? See him. <clears throat> OK. 
Okay, is that everybody that I want to deal with? I think so. Here we go. Expected casualties there, but not that many dang. <clears throat> okay, well that vehicle keeps moving, so the mortars aren't going to hit it anytime soon we now have a tank that showed up panzer 4 and this guy's behind a hedge so i don't think anybody can actually hit him at all Yeah. We don't need to be on the front side of this building. can't see that I have to be back here to see him can't take it at an angle okay that's weird Decided to go ahead and give it to him. Same with this guy. Oh, really? Okay. I can't see anything from there, but that's okay. <clears throat> oh my gosh, this guy's only got one, one life left.
I advanced to put more of this building between me and <clears throat> the enemy. with the mortar though. I still haven't decided that, have I? I could put the mortar here <clears throat> because he's probably not going to move. I could. Oh, there weren't the snipers. All right, guys, uh, we've been recording for quite a while. What I'm going to do is I'm going to break this battle into two halves. So, <clears throat> uh, all right, so in the next video, we'll continue on with this fight, and I'll see you in the next one.